VKC or vernal keratoconjunctivitis, and we actually, it's, it's a kind of chronic allergic disease. It's an allergy. It's not infectious. It's not contagious. And it is seasonal. That's why we call it uh, spring ophthalmia or spring catarrh because it happens more in the spring. If you look at the age group, it, it, it starts around eight or nine uh, up to maybe 15, 16. And I think, and from my experience or from the literature, uh, symptoms normally subside by the onset of puberty. Uh, the disease is the problem. It is not other than uh, away from other allergic conditions. It is kind. The symptoms are kind of severe. So you have lots of pain, lots of redness in the eye, lots of itching, and being a child having all the symptoms. And I, me myself, I had the same problem. It's really. I mean, you can't be in the sun, and uh, you you have to wear sunglasses all the time. And when uh, the flares come, uh, there's, not, there's not actual treatment. And I mean, you can use lubricants, we've used non steroidal anti inflammatories, but the most common treatment which I had before and we had in this country here is topical steroids. Topical steroids on, on a high dose works, it relieves the symptoms. But the problem is, as you know, that topical steroids have come, don't come with a price. I mean, you know that you know, in the long term, you'll have the uh, chance to develop cataracts, to develop glaucoma, uh, to develop some infections in the eye. So yes, it was the only treatment which helps people, but it wasn't the ideal treatment. So, and that's what I had myself when I, I remember when I was a child, I had steroids, lots of steroids. Luckily, I did not develop glaucoma. But even in my practice here, I've seen, when I started my practice, I've seen lots of patients. It's, it's rare, but it's not very rare as you think. Uh, but we see it in our practice, and those children, are, are, you see them, they are not happy. They can't practice at school uh, sports. Uh, they, they can't be with their, their peers outside, and they have to use drops all the time. Uh, that's why I was very excited about uh, a new treatment. Uh, for that disease.